Hi, I'm Sylvan Kaufman. I'm here at Adkins Arboretum in the floodplain of Tuckahoe Creek. And today I want to talk about anemone quinquifolia, the wood anemone. In addition to the wood anemone, I'm also going to introduce you to the rue anemone, the Lictrum thalactroides. Although they share a common name and are members of the buttercup or ranunculaceae family, they are different genera. The buttercup family has many genera, from buttercups to columbines and clematis. What these all have in common is that the floral parts are all independently attached below the ovary. Most buttercups also have multiple pistils, the female organs of the flower, and many stamens, the male organs. Both wood and rue anemones flower early in spring, in early April in Maryland, and they tend to be found in rich, moist soils and deciduous forests. The wood anemone needs more consistent moisture and is often found at the base of trees. The flowers look quite similar, but wood anemone has just one flower on a stalk and usually only five petal-like sepals, whereas rue anemone usually has six sepals and multiple flowers per stalk. The flowers are wind-pollinated, although the pollen probably doesn't travel very far given how low-growing the plants are. The slender stems cause the flowers to nod in the breeze, loosing pollen. The leaves of the two species also look quite different. Wood anemone leaves are deeply lobed, almost looking like they have three to five separate leaflets with sharp points. Rue anemone leaves are softly rounded with three to five lobes. Very few animals eat plants in the buttercup family because of chemical-filled, bitter-tasting leaves. Like spring beauty, Claytonia virginica, the seeds have an eliosome attached to the seed that attracts ants to disperse them. One of my favorite books for learning about facts, folklore, and history of wildflowers is The Secret of Wildflowers by Jack Sanders. In the chapter on anemones, he discusses the possible origins of the names. Anemone comes from the Greek word for wind, and some say the flower blooms when the winds blow. Others say it lives in windy places. Or it may have been named for the nymph, Anemone, who was loved by Zephyr but was transformed into a flower by the jealous flora. Rue Anemone used to be the only member of the genus Anemonella, but in the 1990s taxonomists moved it to the genus Delictrum. Sanders describes the name as botanical silliness, meaning a Rue Anemone that's like a Rue Anemone. He ends his chapter on anemones with this observation. Perhaps we can be more happy about seeing them than was the winter-weary Nathaniel Hawthorne when he was writing his fiancée in the spring of 1841. There has been but one flower found in this vicinity, and that was an anemone, a poor, pale, shivering little flower that had crept under a stone wall for shelter. Hawthorne wrote that letter from Salem, Massachusetts. Here in Maryland, I always take delight in seeing the delicate wood anemones and rue anemone anemones in the spring forest.